Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Diva, and I love Acid stuff, and I love Diva, so why not bring them both together once again? So here we go. This is an ARP that I called Acid Wild because my naming convention sucks, and here we go. <laughs> God, it almost has a, it reminds me a lot of Mortal Kombat kind of things like that. Yeah, what's that without uh, this patch here or this, this patio? You'll see what that sounds like. Okay, so let's get into this thing. This is a lot of fun to uh, to to make. So we have a fresh copy of Diva here. And let's go and start with uh, our panels. So we have basically, for the most part, the Moog here, and but we're changing out our envelopes to both analog. So let's go ahead and do this with analog and analog. Okay, so first thing, let's talk about the oscillators. So these three are going to be pretty much 100% in the mix, except the last one. So let's bring both of these here into the mix, except the last one, which is like 95, like this, or 95. No, no, there we go, Jesus. <laughs> So that's basically what we have there. Okay, so the first oscillator here, the only thing we really have to change is, actually nothing, the first one is fine. The second one, we're gonna be going down right here, so negative 16, and our default transposition is gonna be fine, so. Pretty easy drop there, but we're kind of changing this a little bit on the waveform, so this exact value is 8.10. So it's a little bit kind of gross here, and we're doing a little bit of detune at negative 11.79. Subtle little change to get that little pulsing going. And our third one here is gonna also be on 16, so down an octave here. And then for detuning, I think we did the same thing, yeah, so no, negative 11.94. So very, very subtle changes there. And this one here is gonna be at 6.5. Okay, we're doing a little bit of modulation here on the shape mod here. So we're kind of moving this shape just a little bit, right? So our shape mod here is going to be a depth of 31. So let's bring that up to 31 right here. And we're gonna be using LFO 2 for that. So LFO 2, it's already mapped, which is kind of nice, kind of makes things a little bit quick. So what's happening for LFO 2, right? So if you look down here, the phase and delay are going to be fine. The rate is a little different though. So we're on one second, so we do need to change that. And our rate is going to be at 0 0.40. So let's move this just ever so slightly to 0 0.40. Nothing on the rate mod or the depth mod. So that's pretty much all we have to do, but we do have to turn this on here for that little button. <laughs> it just gets nastier and nastier as it goes on. This thing sounds mean. It's aggressive. It's crazy. Okay, so let's start dialing in our filter and our filter envelopes here. So maybe we can bring this higher up and kind of do both like that. That might be interesting. Okay, so our cutoff is going to be at 73. So let's bring this down. 73 and then so we're doing stuff with our envelopes so this is at 48 so let's bring this to 48 and take a look and kind of dive in our envelopes real quick to see what's happening right so our our amp envelope let's take a look so we have one and 50 so we have one and 50 which is fine sustain is going to be at zero so drop that bad boy down our release is 20 and 20 so all we really have to do here is just drop our sustain and then now for the filter envelope we have one and 46 so we have one and bring it down to 46 our sustain all the way down at zero and then it releases at 20. So that's pretty much all we have to do here. So our envelope's already mapped by default, and that's fine. So 48, we did that there. And then our keyboard is going to be negative, or not negative, but I guess we're turning it to the left at 19.5. I guess now this is default, you know what I'm saying. 19.5, something like that. 
So we want the filter to kind of move a little bit if we ascend the keys and everything, so it's just not so static, right? And our resonance is gonna be at 65.5. So we're like kind of at that spot where it's just a little bit too much, right? So we're gonna be doing some additional modulation here using LFO one. So let's change that out to LFO one. And this depth is negative 30. Let's take a look at LFO one, see what one is doing here. So basically we have the random hold. Now this is kind of the interesting spot here. So. So let's change this to random hold and then change the sync to one over eight right over here. And bring our depth mod down. And we kind of get that almost, I mean, it's a sample and hold, I guess random hold, you know what I'm saying, but it's just kind of moving things almost in rhythm with the time, especially with the kick drum, right? So now might be a good time to start adding the arpeggiator. So let's turn this on and see what we have over here. So we're going up and we're going two octaves so we can just scroll our mouse wheel, which is a really nice feature like that. And that's pretty much all we have to do except change the speed from one over eight to one over 16. And for the most part, that's kind of the sound we're going for, right? But this one has effects and sounds a little bit fatter. So how do we fatten this bad boy up? So since it's not so deceiving, let's turn off our effects here. Now this one still sounds wide. Now what we have to do to kind of increase that, right? If we look on our main synth here, we can see that we're going on voice eight, but we're doing a stack of two, right? So let's go over here and we have a stack of one. So let's just scroll this up to two. So now we have a stack of two, a stack of two, I guess, right? So now here on the amplifier slash pan here, we can see that we're using stack index and using the pan mod, which is really nice. So it's changes from LFO2 to the stack index, as we can see down over here, stack index, and then start increasing the pan mod and kind of listen how things kind of spread out. Now this goes substantially wide. Did I go all the way? I did all, all the way, okay, here we go. Yeah, so that's kind of a cool thing there. And I don't know if we did, do we do any glide? No, we didn't do any glide. That might be actually kind of interesting now that we're here. You know, I'll leave that up to you. That's kind of actually kind of cool with glide. Okay, so right now we're in a pretty good position to start adding effects. So let's bring this over here and let's kind of look at our effects and see what's going on. So we're using a chorus and a delay, and it kind of sounds like there's a reverb in there, but there's really not. Sometimes if you just use chorus and delay, it can sound kind of reverby. So let's turn the chorus on, and one of my favorites here on these algorithms is Ensemble. I just love it for some reason. Okay, so change to Ensemble, and what we have here is 50 and four, so 50 and 50, I guess, right? So 50, 50 is nothing there as well. So we just bring this down to 42.5, because it's kind of a lot. <laughs> Okay, so next up is going to be delay. So let's select our delay and turn this on. So this is kind of where it's fun to get creative and kind of moving things around the stereo field. So if you notice, you hear that left, right, center, left. So it kind of almost sounds like something just kind of moving continuously to the left-hand side. Or even wrapping around your head, especially if you have headphones on. So let's go ahead and dial that in here. So the first one here, our dry is gonna be 100%, and then our center volume is 15.5, and this is down by default, so 15.5, or are you there, 15.5 for, the, uh, for the center volume. And then we have the side volume, which is 23.5, so we're kind of doing a little bit louder on the side, so 23.5, and where are we, 23.5, okay. And now for the high pass, we're gonna be zero, low pass 100%, so I guess that's fine. We could actually increase some of the high pass. That's totally up to you, depending on how you wanna do that. 
But down here for the timing, so the left is going to be two, the center is six, so left is going to be two, the center is going to be six. Let's bring this up here like that. And we can even do a little bit of slight offsets to make things not so on the grid. But again, that's something that I can kind of leave to you. So hold shift and move that knob there. And then the right's going to be four. So we have four right here. So it's going two, six, and four, which is giving us that weird kind of vibe there. Our wow is 53. Let's bring this up to 53. And then what else do we have? Our feedback, 25. And bring this back. Oh, it is 25. Interesting. Okay, cool. Let's check it out. Ah, it's such a cool effect how it just kind of moves around your speakers. So we're pretty close to the original. There we are. And before you guys ask me, because I know this is probably going to come up, these cool blue LED looking lights. So you can change these here in the trimmers panel and you can change the LED color if you didn't know that to 0.71 because I like how this looks. And this skin as well is also available on the Yuhi website. So yeah, it's called Blau. You can check that out, B-L-A-U, and install that and replace your panes folder in case uh, anybody's wondering that. It's one of my favorite Diva skins. I sided with the Mona. That one's great too. But you know, I kind of felt like going back to the original for, you know, it just feels refreshing. I know it's so well at this point. If you just play some crazy notes on that, uh, on this patch, it's so much fun to play. So hopefully you learned something. Thank you for watching. If you would like to get a free copy of this patch, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours and we will see you in the next video.